Hey my friends, Russell here. Um, coming to you from the house. Uh, normally I would shoot one of these uh, video on this topic, uh, spark plugs at the shop, uh, but it's cold, it's late, it's nasty. Eh, I figured I'd do it at home. So I want to talk to you today about uh, spark plug choices, uh, specifically two, uh, for uh, late model uh, Jeep Powertech 4 liter engines. Um, wind the clock back. A couple months ago, I did a tune-up on a Jeep TJ with the two-and-a-half liter four-cylinder in it. And during the course of that tune-up, and I'll put a link here, um, I noticed that the spark plug requirement, or what's what they're calling for, was different than what I was used to seeing in the six-cylinder. I didn't think much of it at the time. Through subsequent research, um, it, it, I found out that they changed the spark plug um, when Jeep went to the um, coil on plug or wasted spark ignition system they changed the plug so let's talk about we're gonna we're gonna talk about the spark plugs here in a minute the two different plugs but let's talk about Mopar Mopar Jeep and and the motors and the ignition systems and the injection systems real quick. Um, Jeep throughout its history, AMC, Willis, up through you know the Chrysler Mopar years, never did anything to the engines um, strictly from a performance standpoint. Um, they always felt that they were good enough and they just sold vehicles. Um, enter Chrysler Mopar and it, it was even, the only time they changed anything was due to EPA regulations and, and emissions requirements. A uh, prime example would be, uh, short of, I, I digress, short of going from the Renix motor in 1990 to the HO motor in 91, where uh, the previous engine, the Renix engine, was a, a Renix uh, Renault Bendix uh, conglomeration because at the time um, that that was created, uh, which was in the late 80, mid mid to late 80s, Renault was a partner with AMC and, and, and so anyway by 91, Mopar had developed what we now know is the current MPI um, Mopar port injection that's used on the four liter high output engines. Barring that. Uh, the only changes that that Chrysler Mopar Mopar Chrysler made in the these engines was for emissions reasons. A uh, prime example is when they went from in '95 to '96 they switched from OBD1 to OBD2. Along in those changes was a change in the camshaft pattern. Um, the the overall horsepower numbers for the motor remained the same. The bottom end torque got better, but it cleaned up the emissions on the bottom end. They went with a dual pattern camshaft on the later motors to help with exhaust scavenging, which helped with the emissions. Um, <clears throat> the change in uh, the 2000s to the wasted spark ignition system, uh, which if you don't understand what a wasted spark ignition system does, is you've got on a six cylinder, you have six spark plugs and you have three coil packs. So the coil is firing, um, every time the coil fires, two plugs are firing. One of those plugs is on the top of its stroke and the other plug is on the bottom stroke. So it's, it's cleaning up the emissions. It does also help increase performance. That, that's one of the few emissions items that actually helps performance. When they went to the wasted spark system, I, I know this is a long diatribe, but I'm getting there. When they went to the wasted spark system, they changed the design of the spark plug. Or, or change the requirement for the design. Uh, the uh, original plugs installed in Jeep vehicles were champion plugs. Um, I'm not a fan of champion plugs. You can go back and watch dozens of my videos where I bitch, moan, and complain about plugs breaking when I pull them out and they're always champions. I prefer NGK plugs. Um, there's a whole myriad of host of reasons why um, I, I prefer NGK plugs, one of which is I've never broken one taking it out, but they changed the plug. 
but what changed about the plug? And that's, that's what this discussion is going to be about. So the 91 through, uh, I, don't, I don't remember when they went to Waste of Spark, 2001 maybe, 2000, something like that. Um, Jeep 4 liter used in the NGK equivalent. It's the part number is seven seven two five two, 7252, right? NGK 7252. And it is the FR5-1 spark plug. They changed it to part number 34559. Three, four, three, four, and the part number on, and, and that's the part number, and the de designator for the plug for NGK was ZFR5N. Um, so all those letters and numbers mean something to NGK. The key thing for us is FR5, all right, FR5. Um, F is the type of project, projected plug that it is. Five is the, and uh, R means the resistor plugs, and five is the heat range. So they both they both have they both based on an FR5 plug. So what's different between the two? Well, let's open them up here, and I'm going to move the camera and point it down on the table. Okay, so let's talk about these these two different spark plugs that they're calling for in the Jeep Four Liter. Um, and we'll start with by looking at the FR51. So if you've got a 91, uh, and shoot, I'm, I'm not even sure. These may even be reused in the Renix motors, but I know they're used in the 91s um, up through 99 or so. Um, so let's just say for, for argument's sake, you've got a 1996 Jeep Cherokee. This is the plug for an NGK that you would use. Um, simple enough. Projected tip, heat range 5, copper nickel core. These plugs need to be replaced at 30,000 miles. But now let's say you've got a 2004 Jeep Wrangler. Plug that it calls for is the ZFR5N. Simple enough, projected tip. Heat range five, copper nickel core. So what's the difference? Well, for starters, on the later plug, they unshrouded the resistor. For starters. And for secondary, and it's very subtle, and it's tough to see, but the later plug is just a hair longer from tip to seat. It's tough to see, but I'll show it to you. So the first thing I'm going to do is verify the measurement, the seat measurement, and, sh and the shell measurement is the same. So the seat to shell is a uh, 0.240, so not quite quarter inch, right? That'd be a 0.3, so point, 0.238, all right, 0.238. The later plug, 0.38. So that dimension's the same. So let's measure. We're going to measure from here to the tip, which is where the flame kernel's built. Okay. And this isn't an exact measurement because we're dealing with an angle. But I'm getting 1.295. So 1.295. And let's look at the, the older plug. Of 
I can get it on there. One point two seven five. So we've got a twenty twenty thousandths difference in the length of the plug. And I'll show it show it to you again. <clears throat> Old plug, new plug. And it's a subtle difference, but there's 20 thousandths difference in the length from the seat to the tip. Not the ground electrode, the actual tip. 20 thousandths difference. So what does that do for us? So what does that difference do for us? Um, like I said, and I'll show it up again. Right? Old plug, new plug. And there's, there's a 20 thousandths difference between the seat to the electrode tip, not the ground electrode, but the electrode tip. The flame kernel is built between that tip and the ground. So what does that 20 thousandths difference do for us? Well, like I said before, engine manufacturers, and, and Jeep is no different, don't make changes like this willy-nilly. There's a reason they do it. And usually it's an emissions reason. They did it when they went to the wasted spark ignition so that the flame kernel would develop 20 thousandths deeper into the combustion chamber, closer to the top of the piston. Um, does that help us? Sure. Anytime you can clean up your emissions is a good thing. Um, if the cleanup is a is a uh, function of cleaning up the combustion process, anytime you make a more a more perfect combustion in the cylinder, you clean up emissions as a byproduct by moving the flame kernel closer to the top of the piston, um, and and using a wasted spark or other things involved in that. So, yes, if you've got an earlier motor. These plugs will work just fine. It'd be minuscule the difference you would see, but in my opinion, it's worth doing. Um, anytime you can get your flame kernel closer to the top of the piston, you get a more complete combustion in the cylinder, um, which makes more power. So um, I just wanted to throw a quick video together about it. I, it it kind of not perturbed me, but I thought about it. Um, and it was, it was just kind of an interesting why did they do it kind of thing. Um, it's right up there with why did they change the shape of the intake manifold. And there's bazillion videos on that. And people swear by it. It makes more power. And, and actually, it, it really doesn't make more power. It just cleans up the combustion process for emissions. Um, <clears throat> and especially if you're building a stroker. If you're building a motor... Uh, with a larger camshaft and bigger injectors and the heads flowed and it's a larger, you know, um, a larger displacement. So, yeah, sure, if you can get a better flame kernel built on it, yeah, you probably see some power gains. Um, like I said, it's going to be a little minuscule because um, you're still limited to the power of the factory ignition system. Um, but yeah, I, I think it would be worthwhile. So I've, I've, and I swear by using NGK plugs, there's a myriad of reasons why I swear on it. Um, I, I'm not paid in any way, shape, or form by NGK. Um, but I, I've, 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 been a, I've been a fan of NGK plugs forever. So yeah, it's, there's definitely um, a difference in the, in the plug, in the seat depth of how far that flame kernel is away from the top of the cylinder head, which helps with a more complete combustion. Um, if you like this content, go ahead and hit like, hit subscribe, hit that bell icon for future notifications, and as always, there's more to follow.